Good evening, welcome to Midlands Today from the BBC. Tonight, one side branded it a fait accompli, the other side it said it heralded the end of their nightmare. Those were the opinions of the gypsies and the villagers today on the first day of a controversial planning inquiry. The gypsies set up their caravans last May bank holiday. Solihull Council almost immediately issued a stop notice and residents set up their protest camps. In June, the council decided the site had to go, but then the gypsies lodged an appeal, which has led to today's proceedings. Sarah Falkland reports. He didn't look too hopeful. Father of five and wheeler dealer Noah Burton, the appellant in today's public inquiry. He may have arrived in his Jensen, but he says he's a gypsy through and through, one side in this long-running row. And this is the other, Middle England, quite literally when you think they live in the geographical centre of the country. And here in Meriden, the warring parties are separated by just a single hedgerow. The travellers behind me, the residents over here now on day 326 of their protest vigil. It's now 10 o'clock and this inquiry is open. Could I first... The barrister for Solihull Council said the gypsies' actions had been a cynical attempt to steal a march on the planning system. The barrister for the gypsies said it was unauthorised but not illegal and blamed the consistent failure by the local authority to provide travellers' sites. The local government secretary, Eric Pickles, has already said that he will have the final say in this matter. Do you think it's a fait accompli? That's a fancy word, but I think I know what you mean, and the answer to it is yes. It's pretty much yeah. I think it's... But it doesn't... You know, it's not the end of it, is it? You know, we can... That's the whole... That's the good thing about this being a public inquiry, and such a high-profile public inquiry, which is such an experienced inspector here, is that this guy will do his job. Our case is in good shape. This is clearly an unsustainable development that was done in a way that tried to steal a march on the planning process. It wrecks the rural amenity of the area and there's a raft of reasons why it shouldn't uh, continue. The residents have their own barrister and are making sure that they're heard. When they visited the European Parliament last year, they said they felt like terrorists when they were moved on by security. Their MEP says gypsies shouldn't have special rights. If this was me or you or the ordinary family that built a, a house on that greenbelt land, it would have been taken down and we would have been ev evicted off. And the fact that they can't is because they're given special privileges. Uh, and that is right because we, that is wrong because we should all be equal before the law. And in this case, it's not. And there's another example of where the European Union pervades on our ordinary lives. The hearing is scheduled for two weeks. Sarah Falkland, BBC Midlands Today in Meriden.